I'm going to show you how to install these decorative balusters. All right, so I wanted to show you how I did the layout for these balusters. They're a little bit out of the ordinary. Very beautiful design, uh, sort of an H pattern. And I've got it laid out so every second one is this uh, special uh, pattern. And one of the things I was concerned about was, will I be able to get the balusters in between the two rails without having to put the top rail on after, which is a real nuisance. If you've ever done it, you'll never want to do it again. But, so what I did is I cut a two inch strip, which matches the width of that H baluster out of half inch plywood, which is the same thickness, and just made sure that it would fit in between the railings that it does. Uh, so I laid it out so that uh, the spacing is uh, equal. And I used a little story pole here with some masking tape on it so that I could uh, achieve that without a lot of complications. One of the things you'll notice is, uh, or you should take note of, is that this baluster is actually two inches in width this way, but on the angle here is two and a half. So these half inch balusters are basically five eighths or so on the angle as well, and you have to take that into account when you're laying out your balusters. What was neat about the plywood uh, replica baluster is that I could use that to mark the length of all my balusters, both the singles and the doubles. And here I'm using this, uh, it's my very first ever miter saw, an old Makita, and I just got a metal blade on there and it works just fine. A little homemade uh, jig system, I guess you'd call it, uh, that uh, does the job, not fancy. And just using a, a Leatherman file uh, to file the uh, edges of the baluster, and this is sort of necessary. Uh, on every baluster you cut just because of the uh, bit of a blowout or a burr that you get there will prevent that baluster from going into the railing. You can see here that uh, driving that uh, double baluster in is not really an issue any more than a single. Um, just was really careful that I didn't uh, scratch anything or uh, get a little carried away. The only thing I did wrong, as you can see here, is about uh, two double balusters side by each, so I have to correct that. There was a time when I used uh, a rubber mallet for this process, but over time I figured out that my good old fashioned uh, plum hammer that I've owned since I was 17 years old works fine for this process. Just use the butt of the hammer to tap the, the uh, baluster in. Oops. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm using my story pole to make sure that I'm on track with my spacing. I really do like that story pole system for these short runs of balusters. And especially here because I have something that's a little out of the ordinary with the double balusters. So I really like this fast cap, uh, $10 million stick, just because you can trim some really small pieces of wood without risking your digits. And I, I can't uh, put a price on that. Either end will work uh, for holding down your workpiece and keeping your hands out of the way. Now you'll see here that I get into a bit of a wrestling match with these uh, fillets popping up 
Uh, that's because I normally use a one inch uh, 23 gauge pin uh, to hold the fillets in place, but I wanted to see if I could do this uh, process with just wood glue and avoid having visible uh, fasteners. And it seemed to work fine in the, in the end. So here's the last piece. We'll see if that goes in. Oh, and it does. Thank goodness. And all I have to do now is put these little pieces between the uh, balusters on this H design and we're done. I also didn't use any uh, pins on the fillets in the top rail and the glue held the fillets in place without any problems. So I think it's a good way to go as long as your fillets are fitting snug. Yeah, as for this one, uh, exactly the same kind of pattern where I'm going to go from a double uh, to a single and a double and, and so, so on along the railing. Again, I've made up a story pole and I've made sure that ahead of time that the uh, H style baluster is going to fit after the railings are in place and, and glued and screwed in place. So uh, this one here I'm going to stagger the sort of the pattern a little bit and uh, hopefully that all works out but I'm sure it will. Now I took some time uh, trying to figure out how I was going to stagger the uh, double uh, balusters and what I eventually ended up doing is I think the balusters had to be cut from about 35 inches down to 29 and I just uh, cut from one end and reversed every other uh, double baluster and it worked out really nice the customer is really happy and of course this was their design idea not mine I don't take any credit for the artistic merit and you'll see here towards the end of this run of balusters I have to do some juggling and leave fillets out so that I can get them all in because of that two inch uh, baluster it takes a lot of diagonal space to go into the railing system. Now, one of the things I find with doing uh, balusters and fillets is the last few fillets are always different than what your mathematic calculation uh, showed they should be so that's just the normal part of the process. If you want to learn more about uh, baluster spacing calculations and installing metal balusters, uh, I'll put a link here to the video I have on that process. Now you'll notice this uh, plug in this uh, footage here and it's quite obvious. We added some more stain to it and it came out uh, very nice. But uh, I like to critique every job at the end and one of the things I would have done different is I would have used a lamello invis, especially on the bottom rail where those plugs are visible. And uh, you know that would have made uh, it look a little bit neater. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have these types of railings and baluster systems in your jurisdiction. I'd be interested to know whether it's just uh, a thing that's uh, common to Canada or North America or whether they're all over the world and uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.